All right, this short video uh, will be um, focused on creating your own Connect Classroom. So we only have one goal for this video, and it shouldn't take too long because there aren't, uh, aren't many steps in doing this. Let, let's go ahead and log in to our Connect Classroom or to, to our Connect uh, website and see how to do this. Now, you'll receive an email from either Lipscomb or from uh, connect. I'm not sure which one, uh, but but you'll get an email from them that will show you or that will list for you your Connect credentials. So you'll use uh, whatever that uh, that um, email lists as your name and password for Connect. You'll use that to log into Connect. And then once you log in, you'll be on this page right here. So your website to log in is always uh, right here, lipscomb.adobeconnect.com, and you'll use your uh, your Connect credentials. To log in, and this is your uh, your homepage that, that you'll see once you log in. If for some reason you're on a different landing page, just always go here to the top left and click Home, and it'll come to this uh, to this main main page. Now you'll see over here on, on on the left side of our window here. These are all the rooms that I have created um, over the past you know a few months. Uh, so I'm actually going to walk you through step by step on how to create one of these rooms, so you'll see how this works from start to finish. And it's very easy. It's 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 very quick. So let's say that you're that you are teaching vision and change uh, this fall uh, as an on uh, or this term as an online course, and you want to create um, a uh, uh, you know classroom space for your meeting sessions. So you go to create meeting. And you want to give your room a name. Just know that whatever you type in this box right here will show up in the tab um, as a title. So you know if you call this, you know Ashley's amazing incredible classroom, then it's going to say up on top here Ashley's amazing incredible classroom. So you know give it a name. Um, you can call it whatever you want to. Just know that that will show up on the on the top of this tab right here. So for this, I'm going to call this. Um, Foreman, vision and change, and, and so that that lists my name in this uh, class as well as the class uh, you know title or or, or the class uh, content title. Next field here is custom URL, and I definitely recommend that that you do this because um, here's why: if you don't, then uh, the link that your students receive for the classroom is very long. The link will essentially be this right here. And about 25 characters after that it'll be a very very lengthy long uh, link so you can customize your classroom URL by typing something in this box so I'm gonna call this um, uh, let's just call it uh, foreman to make it easy uh, you can call that uh, vision and change you can call that uh, foreman Lipscomb uh, you know uh, whatever you want to just 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 know that whatever you type here to give your your classroom a unique link then this right here, this entire piece, this then be, becomes the link that your students will use to access your room. So this customized uh, URL just makes it easier to type or easier to access that uh, classroom. Leave this box right here blank. Your next uh, piece is your start time. Now, note that uh, this is uh, today's date, and it's fine to leave um, today's date as your start time. The only thing, uh, the only um, advantage to changing your start time is if you want your classroom, your class space, to be um, open only after a certain date. So let's say that you know that you wanted this to, to that that you want students to have access to this to this uh, classroom on October 10th. Well, then you would just change this, you know, to your you know to your date. I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's an option there for you. Um, there's really no, um, I guess, uh, you know, bonus to having a different start date. Just, just, just know that uh, it, it has to be at least today's date. I definitely recommend leaving this as it is and, and not, you know, not uh, changing that. Same thing with your duration. You notice that my start time is today, and then my duration is one hour. This does not mean that my online class will just shut down after an hour. Um, this is just a, uh, a default setting within Connect that lets everyone know that this meeting will last a, a, about an hour. Um, that's a feature for those who are going to use Connect for like an, an um, uh, online meeting. Let's say that you're having like a, a conference call and somebody's off, off campus. This can tell them, 
about how long this meeting will last. Um, if you want to change that, that's fine. Um, so if your class is meet from five to seven, you can change this to a two hour meeting. Uh, just know that that this will not end after two hours. You're just telling people how long this meeting might uh, might last. Leave this template um, as it is and leave the, the language as it is. Last piece here is the access. Um, so you have uh, three options here. I recommend choosing the third option and I'll tell you why in just a minute. If you choose this second option, which is your default option when you create a classroom in Connect, this means that um, students have to use their Lipscomb login or their Lipscomb uh, student credentials to access the room. So they will then. So so here's here, here's how this works. They will that they will click the link that you send to them. They'll they'll come to a connect room. It'll ask them to log in. They'll use their you know first name dot last name at Lipscomb dot edu and their password to log in. Um, and that locks down access to only those who have a Lipscomb credential. The problem, I, I guess that what's good with that is that once they log in, their name automatically uh, populates in your class list, um, which you'll see what that list looks like in, in the next video. Um, but the downside to that is, is that I think that once you create extra steps to accessing online uh, content, you create multiple opportunities for uh, possible failure you know so if a if a student forgets their Lipscomb uh, password or um, you know has forgot or, or has uh, forgotten their their credentials and they then go to the class session and they can't get in the class that creates frust frustration and will impact their um, their experience in this online class so um, so what I would do is I would choose this third option here, which gives anyone, at, uh, give, which gives anyone uh, who, who has access to this link right here access to the class. Um, that does not mean that you're going to get random strangers coming into your classroom from all over the web. You know, um, that just means that, who, that who, whoever you send this to can just click that link and get right in, in, uh, into the room. Once they click the link, they'll be prompted by uh, Connect to enter their name. So they'll they'll type their name and whatever they type as their name will then show up in your student list on your Connect uh, Classroom window. This is the the easier way of accessing uh, Connect Classroom. This um, uh, sort of, you know, this right here sort of locks that down and uh, will pre-populate their name for you once they log in. So really it's, it's up to you. I recommend using this third option. It's just easier. And they can get right to your classroom without any any extra steps. <clears throat> the The last piece here is uh, these are all default settings, and uh, just just don't don't change any of these. Uh, leave these settings as they are. Okay. Last thing is click finish, and that's it. Your room is now created, um, and and uh, that's it. So you'll notice here that this is our our class summary page. It it, it tells us our classroom name. Um, this is the link that I can then uh, copy and send to my students in an email so that they, so that they know um, you know where to click or, or what to click in order to access the room. Um, of course there is no one in the room right you know right now um, and this tells me you know what what level of, of access does this room have which means that anyone who has this link can access it. Now you have the option of going to the room right right now. So if I were to click this room, or I'm sorry, this button, then I would go right to my Connect Classroom and I could go ahead and start my live session. Chances are you have done this weeks in advance of, of your actual first class session, so you won't click this button now. Uh, you can, if you want to, to you know practice your 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 Connect uh, uh, you know button management and 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 feature management, um, or you can click Home and go back to your to your home page and see your rooms that you created. So this is the room that we just created. Which is form and vision and change. Um, now, to get to your classroom after you have created it. So let's say that you've you've made your room. You've gone back to this main main page. There's your classroom. Um, you log out, and you know a couple weeks later, it's time to it's time to have class. You'll uh, to access your room. You'll log back into this site. Okay, uh, go to your home home button or your home page, and find the room that, that you created for this class 
and click open. Now I won't do that now because I have a different classroom already open that I'm going to use for our next video. But you would just click this button right here and then your class will then launch and um, whoever has also clicked clicked this link will also be uh, what will also be in that room. <clears throat> now it, you can create multiple classrooms if you if you are teaching multiple classes. Uh, let me let me re, re, rephrase that so that's clear. You can create multiple classrooms if you are teaching multiple sections of classes. So let's say that you are teaching two classes this fall, vision and change and law and ethics. Well, then you would need to have two different classrooms for those classes. But if all you're teaching this, this term is vision and change, that one section, you can have one, one room for all of your meeting sessions for that class. So let's say that my class meets five sessions during term, term one. So we're going to meet five Tuesday nights from five to seven. Um, then I only need one classroom for all five of those sessions. We'll just use the, the same room each time that we log in to have a class session. So I hope that makes sense. If it, if it doesn't, just uh, you know, call me and uh, we can talk, you know, talk through that more. Um, but just know that, that uh, this is your homepage. And this is how you access your meeting space for your uh, Connect Classroom. Hope this was uh, helpful. In our next video, we will um, explore all of our Connect features and buttons that, that you will see on your classroom page. Thank you.